Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Shark and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Um, so I kind of stopped because I got a little stuck the last time um, here, so I, quite honestly I'm just grabbing, grabbing at straws at this point. So what I will do is just go from here and we'll see how we can get the story to progress on. Voila! Now it's ice cream ghost cake. Ice cream, okay. Frozen ghost cake, oh, irresistible. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Well, you Actually, kind of it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fustalugs and a clasomaniac, too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know, we... How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Xavier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel, and there was something else too, I think. He took us to Chuck's funeral the other day. Chuck is my brother. Now you're just name dropping. So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. You Just get like shot, life. and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching. I love my cat. That show is so funny. Well, can I, but you know, please go to the penthouse now. All oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided, then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Cute. Oops. Here. Okay. Check. Get the penthouse. Okay. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Stay away from my crystal. A new ghost. I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, 
And only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Can I please have the crystal so I could speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Gross. I can't reach that. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. Well. Let's see. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. I'll need more than a chart to decode this, like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. Oh. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. This section includes the complete history of Mucus Phlegm, the pointed history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all Mucus Phlegm games. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are? That doesn't seem to work. It doesn't work with that. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Mm -hmm. Let's switch it up a bit. What's this to do? The key to factory gate. That doesn't make any sense. Let's see, that's her to do. Breaking the Pillow Factory, get key to factory gates, still the secret Pillow Factory AI, and then his is something about his dad. Fix dad's watch, get into the Pillow Factory. Um, I wonder. If we can use the wrench, it's just an idea. It doesn't work on that. I'd better hold on to this until later. It doesn't work on that.
I don't want to talk to him. Pew, pew, pew! Starships in bottles, handmade. What's a grown man doing in a space costume? You, sir, are in the wrong place to ask such a question. I will not listen to such comments, sir. Goodbye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Good day, I say good day. Let's see, let's talk to Batman. Oh, you can't talk to him. Hmm. I have nothing to say to a game nerd. I don't want to talk to him. He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. Okay, fine. I guess we'll go look for more pages from your damn joke book then. Let's see, let's look at the bargain. Dime a dozen. They're comics, D&D &D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. No touching. It's my joke book, but there are three pages three. missing. Okay. So I guess when we're looking for your joke book pages. So. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. They're still eating the cheese. Looks like a rat hole. Well, there are rats, so that makes sense. Let's see if there's anything back here. It's the list of all the who swore and paid up. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. Okay. So I guess we'll go back over here, though. I need to be higher to jump on it. It's a page from my joke book. Oh, see? Got the page stuck back into the joke book. I'm guessing. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Come back here. Hey! Stop! Find missing joke book page. So now I gotta go out this damn window, open the bloody door. Since it went. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Let's see here.
That's too far to jump from here. That's too far to jump from here. Let's get the clown to climb the ladder. Well, you're the only one who has the guts to do the it. Circus freak will climb the ladder. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. Stupid ladder. For making me do this. Now I better get out of here fast. I don't know what that did. What happened? Oh, okay. We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. Okay. I don't know what this has to do with any. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half. I'm not going in there. Oh, nice. They did a whole half hour hatchet job call in special on my last perform I don't know where I'm Okay, all back to normal again. Okay, so I'm not sure. It's nowhere near my bedtime. That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. Sorry. 
Maybe we can do something with that at the symbol con up here. You never know. Hmm. Let's see. Hi! Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. How about a trade for the stupid hint guide? What do you have to trade? A first edition Ransom comic book? Wow! A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item! You almost look like him. Except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it! What a f ripoff! Entering Colossal Dungeon Cave, heading east will cross us. Head to the west and look around. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. If this is all you're asking. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. See you soon, Virgil.
It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure. Maybe we can use it to break into something. It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. It doesn't seem to fit that. Hmm. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Oh. Never mind. We got a confession. You're swinging, murder boy. You were a watch repairman. Yep. The best thimbleweed I'd ever seen. Society's elites come from all over the county to get their fiddle plucked or their cogs cranked by old Willie. Gross. <laughs> How are you feeling, scumbag? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm mad as hell, that's how I'm feeling. You agents locked me away when I did nothing wrong. Don't try to deny your crimes now, you creep. But I didn't do it, I swear. Uh, the only man I ever wanted to kill is Chuck Edmund. He's already dead! So, you admit you have murderous fantasies. Seems pretty cut and dry to me. If you didn't do it, why did you confess? I was scared and confused. When you pulled that good cop, bad cop stuff on me, I'd have said anything to make it stop. I okay. Got to go, murder boy. Get bent. That's nice. Let's go back to Dolores. Okay, well that is it. Let's just open the front door here, see if we can get that damn computer to work. Computer. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. So use Will with that. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. That tells me nothing. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Wasn't it like 1138? I think that's what it was. Let's see. I think I gave it. Yeah, cause I can. Yeah, that was it. Oh crud! I wonder if it's one one three eight. So what do I have to do? I forgot.
Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive ore and using his lucky number as the key. Okay, here goes. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. Hmm, yes, getting something. No, this is totally wrong. I'd better figure out Uncle Chuck's lucky number before I try again. I think he used it to win the local lottery a few years back. Got his picture and the paper and everything. Paper. Oh well. Let's go to the paper. I think it's down B Street. Oh, I was wrong. Let's go down E Street then. Lucky number eight. Okay, so let's go back to the house. I guess I could have used anyone else to look at that. Didn't necessarily have to use her. Although, did he really need to play the lottery if he was already like running the town? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh my. Okay, here goes. Small number less than 100. Even. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. There we go. So... Look at Will. I did it. Okay. It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Okay, so we just have to get. I think I got the thin boy behind them all to go to Chuck's tomb. But we will take care of that here in a minute. Yay! So. Let's do this. Give thimbleberry Mr. pie. Malloway, here's the freshly baked thimbleberry pie. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie. You still need to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The final one is to read the will in your Uncle Chuck's opulent tomb. I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs his sleep. Okay, so, done that, Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. So I guess I'll go down A Street. Because I'm betting the old, the gypsy woman has the spell book. Because that would make the most sense. That was odd. But alright. Yeah, see, occult books, that makes sense. The future is never written. Let's push. There we go. And then It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware! Cool. Beware of what? Huh, nothing. It just sounded ominous. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, so... The building didn't look that tall on the outside. Oh, come on now. Nothing in there but charred trash. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Okay. So I guess take this to the hotel. And then Maybe we can get to the penthouse now with her. Oh, come on! That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broke. Oh, she can't give it to him. Damn it. Shut up in there. Don't start that Batman argument again. <laughs> Shut up in there. Don't start that Batman argument again. Shut up in there! Hoverboards will be mainstream by 2017! Shut up in there! An island for monkeys? What if they run out of bananas? Shut up in there! No one will ever need more than 64k of memory! Shut up in there! We will never be able to improve on the VHS format. Shut up in there! Everyone knows the best zombie weapon would be a lightsaber. In there, hoverboards will be mainstream by 2017. Uh. This channel is just static. I should find another. 
What is that on the TV? Oh my, it's my favorite. I love my cat. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. So let's see. It looks like a book can be placed here. from my crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Can I please have the crystal so I could speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Stay away from my crystal. Stay away from my crystal. Fine. This is to do list. Okay. So we're almost done with him. So look at Book of the Dead. Mm, it looks like it needs something else to work. Oh, here we go. Place book of the dead on approved on terror. In proximity to the grave. Oh, so she's going to have to... Go to the... Graveyard. Oh, hell. Okay. So pick up flowers. Then let's go back to the hotel. It says Philip's mm. dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. Yeah, I know what happens when you use that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> is glowing.
And the flower looks good here, but I need to know what words to say to cast the spell. It looks ready for me to say the spell. It looks ready for me to say the spell. Okay, so... It's glowing, but I can't read the text. Maybe I'm not the one who's supposed to read it? It looks ready for me to say the spell. I can't do anything right. That doesn't yeah. use electricity. Mumbo jumbo. Mumbonius jumbonius. Let me oh. visit my dead relatives. Oh, well, there we go. That was easy. Looks like Chuck got a tune to fit his ego. <laughs> of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. <laughs> I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under, and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh my. Ooh! <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Oh, well, that was incredibly easy. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Okay. So. Seems like a good spot to end the episode right here, so I'm going to do just that. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see other videos that I've done. And I will see you next time.